Hello friends, I am so jazzed because today Mr. Mojo and I get to show you how to create your awesome gift guide inside of Canva. Now I want to show you one layout and how I'm tweaking it so that you can get three different styles. And gift guides are such a fun way for you to round up some of your very favorite things. So whether this is for the holidays, for Black Friday, affiliate things that you love and adore, or some babes doing amazing things that you want to showcase their products or services, or Valentine's Day, or just a roundup of your favorite tools that you use inside of your business. There are so many ways for you to utilize gift guides inside of your business, post them on your blog, share them in email, share them online. There's so many things that you can do with a gift guide and that's what makes gift guides so fun. So if you jump into Pinterest right now and you type in gift guide or holiday gift guide, any type of gift guide, you'll see that this is a super popular subject. We love having those shortcuts. We love seeing a roundup of people's favorite things. And the best thing is that these types of posts really convert really well. So people tend to click on them a lot more. And we love for people to show us some great ideas that maybe otherwise we wouldn't have been able to find on our own or have the time to find on our own. They're also super easy to create and they don't require a lot of copy. Like I mentioned, I'm going to show you one practical layout and then I'm going to show you two other ways how I'm sprucing this up so that you have three different ideas. What you want to do before you get started is number one, you want to know who your guide is for. Be really specific. Someone's going to jump into Google or jump into Pinterest and say best holiday gifts for entrepreneurs gifts under 25 for teens, or 2019 gift guide for the entrepreneur who has it all, or the yogi, or the plant lover, or the anthropology obsessed. So really see how with your guide and your headline, how you can get as specific as possible. And of course, you don't have to create just one guide. You can create many guides, but you just want to make sure that your headline and your sub-headline gets very specific in terms of who your guide is for. And because you're not using that much copy, this is a really great place where you can get creative, show off some personality, and add some fun. So, number one thing is know who your guide is for. Number two, know what your headline is and your sub-headline. Number three, know how many products you're sharing. So are you sharing your top 10, top 20, top 25? So know that ahead of time, only because you need to know when you jump into Canva, how many spaces do you need to create? So you need to have start thinking about the layout that you're going to need for the X amount of products that you're going to showcase on your guide. And then number four, know where to source your images. So you want to start collecting those ahead of time and then import them into Canva. Now, caveat here. If you are promoting affiliate things or Amazon, in most cases, those people are going to be totally fine with you borrowing a photo and linking back straight to that product. You also want to make sure that in your terms and privacy that you're also adding at least what your disclaimer policy is. Now, if you are sourcing just for funsies, things that you love from anthropology or um, home goods or all different kinds of places, you want to make sure that you check the fine print in terms of permission to share certain photos. Most of the time, if you are linking back to a beautiful anthropology candle and they make a sale, they're probably not going to care that much. If you are using that photo to link to your site to make a sale on a candle, different story. To keep your booty safe, make sure that you're checking in terms of what the photo policies are or check in with your affiliate, check in with your girlfriend, whoever it is that you are using those photos from, just make sure that you have permission to do so. And if you can't find it in their privacy policy, just send them a quick email to support. Okay friends, once you have got an idea of who your guide is for, your headline and subheadline, you know how many products you are going to be showcasing on your guide, and you know where you're getting your photos from, it is time to jump into Canva and to have fun with your guide. The first thing that you're going to want to do is decide if your 
guide is going to be horizontal or vertical. I'm going to start just by clicking on the letter size. And over here I have a folder called gift guide where I've added in some product shots just for example purposes. So I have my photos ready and now I'm going to go ahead and add my headline to the center of my design. So the first thing that I want to do is just get the basic layout together, add in my photo spaces, add in my photos and then style it and personalize it even more. One other thing to think about is are you listing the prices on your guide or are you just going to include photos with numbers or letters like ABC so that you can add the links underneath your graphic on your blog post or in the guide that you're creating. I'll give you an example of both. So I'm just centering this guy and I'm using Canvas guides to help me do that. And now I want to make space for my products. So I want to do one, two, three, four, 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 and four. So four, eight, 16, 24 products on this page followed by the name underneath and then maybe a price. So I go to elements and this is just one way to do it. This is just, we're just creating a simple guide and then after we can spruce it up, make it better. There is one, now I'm just duplicating the process. Okay. I want all of these to be exactly the same distance spread apart. That looks pretty good, happy with that. Now I'm going to duplicate that again, put it over here, mm, a little bit too close to that. So I'm going to select all of this and make it a tad smaller. There we go. I do feel like there's some wasted space here towards the edges, so maybe we can space our products out a little bit more. Now, like I said, we're just doing the layout. We're not getting creative quite just yet. And now we do the exact same thing at the bottom. Duplicate. Ta-da! There is your first gift guide. And this is your foundation. Now you're going to see how many different things we can do with this. I'm going to make a copy of this. I work off of this copy. Now instead of the lines, I'm going to make a box here. And as you can see, I use my specific brand colors. So this is what you are going to want to start doing now is use your own fonts and your own brand colors. Now again, I'm focusing on my headline and my subheadline. Then I'm going to add my products and then I'm going to style it up. So I go back to my gift guide. And now I focus on the products that I want to add. I'm going to add the his on the top and then the hers at the bottom. And first I just add these in just to get a sense of where I would want to put each product. Now I can come in and play around a little bit, rotate some of them, make some of them a bit smaller or bigger add in the product names and the dollar amounts. And then I do the same for the bottom. The reason you want to resize is sometimes it will cut it off. And so if you start making it a little smaller, you can get the full picture in there. But like I said, once all of your photos are in there, that's when you can get, whoops, I totally did them in the wrong place. <laughs> that's okay. This is what we're going to do. I'll show you. There we go. Doop. Okay. A little smaller. I mean, come on. How easy is that? How quickly did that go? You can add also, if you want, your website. Oh, I can go and make a wet. House.com, edit somewhere in the bottom, like that. And my first guide is pretty much done. Now I can come in and decide what else do I want to do? I want to change up the colors maybe? Do I add some snowflakes? So with Canva, we can also come in and add in some stickers so closer to the time. 
I'll see what holiday stickers there are that I might want to add. My only tip would be to make sure that we, you don't go overboard with these. Keep it simple, but definitely don't be scared to add a little bit of fun. This is layout number one. Let's do a side by side real quick. Now let's see how we can take this basic layout and just spruce it up a little bit. I'm going to take this part out, move my headline to the top. So we have eight products. Now we're going to spread them out a little bit more. Doesn't look like much right now, but bear with me. I'm going to put this guy at the top. I'm going to make the name a little bit smaller. And in this case, I want to put the price followed by a little description of the product underneath. There is one. I spend time perfecting one, and then once I'm happy with it, I kind of just rinse and repeat for the others. So here, I'm going to move this. I want this to take up quite a bit of space here since I have that space. There we go. Okay, friends, there is number two. Same kind of concept, we just moved this to the top and then gave our product description like a bit of a different layout. So that is number two. And then there's variation of this where you could put this side and just play around with your headline and your subheadline a little bit. That may, might be how I'll do that. I could also do that. There are so many ways that you can personalize these. And there's one more that I want to show you that's just as simple. We're going to go back to our original idea, make a copy of that. This might be a good one for like Pinterest. What I recommend is once you've got like a design or a style that you love, don't be scared to play with different variations and then pin all of those variations to see which of those images are getting the best traction or clicks or shares on your Pinterest. And in this guide, I'm not going to add the prices because we'll assume that in this case, we're just adding it right underneath our blog or wherever we're sharing it. Now if you want to be able to manipulate these more, you might have to create these blocks individually. So I'll show you an example of what I mean in just a minute. Basic concept, now I'm going to do it again, but instead of having these, create my own so that I can manipulate it a bit more. Okay, same concept but this one's gonna give you more flexibility. If I have a product that I want to be able to rotate, then this one might be better for me. But if all of your products have a background, then this option might be perfect for you. And now remember that you can also go and add in some sticks. Like they might be snowflakes or something you can use. Okay, here is two quick examples of what that might look like for you. So right over here, we've got this on sale sticker wording on top of that. Now at the moment with stickers though, you can't change out the colors. So you wanna choose something that will work with your brand colors. That's a really cute one that you can use since that that is white, you're gonna to wanna to pull that over a darker background. Same is true for this little diamond. Those are kind of sticker ideas that I would use that I think works well. It's subtle and still elegant. To recap, we started out with our basic layout. We used our basic layout to create this first option over here. And then we use this layout to create two variations right over here. 
and we have our product description followed by the price underneath, whereas in this one, what we did is we added the price, then the product name, and a short description. And then in our last one, we just did a quick cover idea if we wanted to do like a little guidebook, but also this will work for Pinterest. And it will also work if you want to be able to list the products underneath so people can click right through. Now, you might be feeling this is all great. I love the ideas, but I'd still love to save even more time and get these very layouts that you put together for us, Nicolette. I'm so excited to share that you can snag these layouts and get a copy of this inside of your very own Canva account and start creating your own wow-worthy gift guides. I cannot wait to see what you create, so please be sure to reach out online or tag me at Nicolette Styles.